one of the uh, one of the responses we got involved uh, the issue of sexual abuse. How how do you respond to uh, the the role of sex in a in a healthy committed marriage when you have this um, uh, this um, power use of sex in your life? Uh, one, I want to I want to um, I want to celebrate your courage in, in realizing that this is something you got to look at. I, I am um, I'm well aware of the courage that it takes and, and, and the strength it takes to say, I realize this is an issue that I have to come to some kind of conclusion with before I'll be able to move on in a healthy way. Uh, let me remind you of some basics about, about sexual abuse. Uh, and I'm probably telling you stuff that you already know. Um, one, it is never about sex. This is not about a relationship. This is not about love. This is about power. And it's about force used to impose somebody else's will on you. It's not your fault. And you didn't do anything to deserve it. It has nothing to do with sex. It has all to do with power and the strength to hurt. It was intended to hurt you. It was intended to wound you. It was it was it was it was done to cripple you and to make you less. Okay. Now, that is not God's will for you. That is not what He wanted for you. Uh, we live in a world where people have free will, and sometimes people make choices that hurt us. You've been a part of a choice that hurts you. But the good news of, of, of Christianity is that our God is strong enough to take not only the mistakes we make, but the mistakes that other people do to us and heal those mistakes uh, to the point that they become points of strength for us in later life. Now, um, you're going to have to work through some kind of process, most likely under the help of a, of a good counselor. Uh, to begin to understand what happened, to express the anger that's part of that, uh, anger, it's, it's, it's rage, uh, that somebody would hurt you like this, to deal with that so that you'll be able to move positively when uh, when a relationship is, is when the right relationship is there for you, uh, for you to take advantage of. Uh, that may take a little while. So um, let us help you find a good counselor. Uh, the role of a good counselor is that of a guide. Uh, you're, if you're strong enough to raise this flag in, a, in, a, in an email or a text, uh, then you're strong enough to get through this eventually by yourself. You will spend a lot of time in dead ends and swamps if you do it by yourself. If you have a guide, you'll get through this process faster, you'll get through it in a much healthier way, and you won't spend so much time in dead ends. Um, so uh, start working with a good counselor. Second, you may want to keep a journal. Uh, I have found keeping a journal is one of the best ways for me to get clarity of the thoughts I have in my head. Sometimes I have a bunch of thoughts in my head and they won't sit down and be quiet because they're afraid I'm going to forget them. But if I write them down, I can begin to see these patterns of how, uh, I'm, uh, uh, how I'm thinking about something. I can begin to respond to it. Pray. Uh, and I don't mean now I lay me down to sleep. Okay, I'm, I'm talking about those prayers of the Psalms where, where are you and why did this happen to me and why did you leave me by myself? Um, those kind of gut kind of prayers uh, will, will begin to help you uh, deal honestly with what happened to you. Um, but, but you're wise to understand that this is going to affect future relationships uh, unless you deal with it. So uh, get with a good counselor. Uh, get in a small group uh, where you can begin to grow in a healthy way. Uh, keep the journal uh, with, with what you're thinking and how you read the scripture. Uh, but pray. Pray honestly. Pray from your gut. And, uh, and, 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 and pray for the Lord's healing in this process. And if we can help you in that, we have some counselors who are friends of Kairos uh, that, that, we, that we'd be glad to put you uh, together with. And I believe, I believe that'll help you along with your journey.